Hi there. How's it going? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Steven Metzner and welcome to the very first developer log for Chrono Mage, the 60 second roguelike. Um, because this is the first video on this channel, I should probably start with an introduction. So like I said, my name is Steven and I am a senior reporter at PCGamer.com. It's a website and magazine about computer gaming. Hopefully you've heard of it, but if you haven't, basically I write about video games all day. Um, more specifically, I write a lot of our big investigative reporting. So for example, in December, I traveled to Shanghai where I interviewed Chinese indie developers to learn about the challenges that they were facing. Uh, it's often a lot of serious stuff, but it's a really, really fun job. But about eight months ago, I decided that I wanted to chase a dream that I had since a kid. I'm sure it's one that I share with a lot of people out there, which is I wanted to make my own video game. And so I started learning Unity and taking tutorials and taking programming courses and, and trying to put it all together. And eight months Months later, I'm finally at a point where I feel ready to step out into my first real project. Now, all of the advice I got when starting out was that you gotta start small, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do, and you'll see that in a second. But I also wanted to do something that would excite and challenge me. And so, uh, as someone that you know loves roguelikes and really is interested by procedural generation uh, in, in computer programming, I decided that was sort of the perfect place for me to start. Okay, so welcome to an early, early prototype of Chrono Mage, the 60 second roguelike. Like any good roguelike, you explore randomly generated dungeons, fighting monsters, and getting all sorts of loot. But the twist with Chrono Mage is that you only have 60 seconds to beat the entire game. Now, that might not seem like a lot of time, but hopefully the fun part is that the items you pick up and find in the world each give you a time-manipulating ability. So the one that you're seeing now, I'm actually calling, uh, internally at least, super hot. And if you're familiar with that great indie game, the, the gist behind this item is that time stops moving when you do. So if you stop moving, time goes to a crawl. When you start moving again, time resumes its regular pace. So it's almost like this real-time pause that you can use whenever. Um, that's one of many abilities that I'm working on implementing. So in this developer log series, what you're gonna see over the weeks and months and probably years to come is uh, weekly updates as I put together Chrono Mage piece by piece. Uh, I'll be diving into the different systems and how I made them, uh, going over the art and just the process of building an indie game. And hopefully if you're new to game development yourself or just looking for a little inspiration, these videos will provide that for you. I've been so inspired by the journeys of other game developers that I know both professionally and personally and it's my hope that in watching these videos, you might come away with a little bit of inspiration for yourself. It's really hard making a game, and it's especially hard making a game when it's not your full-time job. Um, it's it's <laughs> finding that balance between living your real life and making time for work and making time for the people you care about and making a game is not easy. And that's kind of what I wanted to explore in some of these developer log videos. So it's not gonna be strictly nitty gritty. It's gonna also have a little bit of uh, an insight into what my life is and what my world is as I'm building this game uh, over the next, who knows? I, I don't even want to slap a deadline on it at this point. I bet you it'll take a couple of years. <laughs> so whether you're new to game development like I am, or you've always dreamed of making a game and you don't know where to start, or maybe you're an experienced developer and watching these videos makes you want to pull your hair out because my code is so atrocious and I'm doing everything backwards, regardless of who you are, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. It would mean a lot to me if you left a comment or subscribed and check back next week when I'm hoping to have sort of my first real developer log when I'll dig into Chrono Mage's systems and what I've added to it over the past week. But yeah, that's basically it. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I uh, hope to see you again soon.